You gotta be kidding me. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in today and watching this My 600 Pound Life recap. As you know, we are on season eight. This is episode 13, Dominic's Story. Guys, this episode was completely, uh, what is the word for it? Like, uh, shocking, I guess. Because this person, we are dealing with somebody, not only are they over 600 pounds, but they are currently homeless. They are living in their van. I don't want to get too much into it. I want to start and go from the beginning down to the end. So with that being said, guys, let's get right into the damn recap. is 37 years old and over 600 pounds. Him and his brother James are homeless and they live in his van. Though Dominique is homeless, he manages to scrape up enough money to hit up his local McDonald's. At the drive through Dominic orders six bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits, six hash browns, two triple griddles, three big breakfasts, a large chocolate shake, with whipped cream. They did not give a total to him at the window, but uh, according to my calculation, I'm gonna say he spent around $30 for this uh, drive through breakfast for him and his brother. Now remember, you guys, he's currently homeless, living in his van. Dominique says he would eat all day if he could, but that is not possible because they are on a fixed income. They get some food stamps, but they do not last very long. I know none of us are shocked by that. The money he gets comes from public assistance because he is not able to work. His brother sometimes gets odd jobs, but it isn't consistent, and they use most of their money on food and gas to get around, and they try to get a hotel once a week to be able to shower. So his brother, I assume, is probably hitting up um, unemployment offices, going in, working a day, then not working again for another week. And instead of them, you know, saving this money to get some kind of stable place to, I mean, I would imagine there's some kind of project housing or some kind of low income housing where you can pay as little as $200 a month to live there, but they can't even manage to, to save that much to get into a place to live. Dominique says that his size has always been an issue for him and that him and his entire family like to eat. When he was nine, his mom and dad separated and he was devastated. Because of the divorce, his mom had to work more and leave him with a family member who sexually abused him. This is, from my recollection, the third episode in a row that the cast member on this show has had of history of molestation when they were a child. Dominique never told anyone because he was ashamed and thought he would get in trouble. He says the abuse still haunts him to this day. When his mom and dad finally separated and his dad continued to get him on the weekends but eventually cut out of the picture entirely and he has not seen his dad since he was a little boy. By the time he was 14, he weighed 350 pounds. And by the time he finished high school, he was over 400 pounds. Dominique's mother became sick and he and his brother took care of her. When she died, they eventually lost the house because no one was paying bills. The boys, for whatever reason, couldn't pay the house payment and that is at that time is when they became homeless. Dominic's cousin comes and meets with him and his brother to give them some money so they can get to Houston to see Dr. Now. They end up changing the tires, doing some maintenance on the van. They put enough away for food and they're going to make this trip because they're in California. It's around a 26 hour drive. They're, they're not going to just go down there, see Dr. Now and then come back. They're going to plan on being homeless in Houston so they don't really know what to expect when they get down there. Dominic says that he and his brother have been fighting a lot through this trip. His brother wants to get uh, motel, hotel rooms with the money that the cousin gave them, but Dominic does not want to because he knows, you know, when they can just find a parking lot to sleep in, that leaves him more money to buy food. Um, his brother, though, he, he feels like they're vulnerable. They don't know this area. They don't, he doesn't want to, you know, like when they're when they were in California, back where they're from, they know 
you know, what places are safer than the others. So his concern is, is that they're going to get robbed. They finally make it to Houston after a 26 hour drive and get a hotel room so Dominic can get cleaned up before he goes and sees Dr. Now. Now, Dominic is able to, to wash himself. He just has to have a handicapped shower. And you know, he says that he's in pain a lot. So he's basically trying to get under the folds, the same as the other cast members have said to keep from, you know, rashes and things like that appearing on the skin. He gets in and he gets out as soon as possible. Dominic weighs in at 672 pounds. Dr. Now wants them to get into a homeless shelter until they can find some kind of public assistance housing. Dr. Now tells them they both need to change their eating habits and James, Dominic's brother, tells Dr. Now that he is only there for moral support. So this is another instance, the last episode or the one before the last one, um, Tommy's episode where the girlfriend was severely overweight but she wasn't, you know, 600 pounds. She felt like she's she didn't have the problem that only Tommy had the problem. And we're seeing the same thing with Dominic and his brother, James. James is not 600 pounds, but he's still severely overweight. And when you live with somebody and you're kind of codependent and you guys have been going out to eat, you've been having your meals together, you're going to have to make the change together. There's no way that somebody that has such a food problem as Dominic is going to, you know, say I'm going to eat healthy. And even though his brother James is still there eating whatever he wants, eating all the takeout he wants, that's not going to work. You're going to have to do it together. Dr. Now just laughs and tells him that it's not going to work if he plans on being around Dominic and eating bad food. Dr. Now tells Dominic in the next two months, he wants him to at least lose 60 pounds. Dominic and James have come up with a plan and they have agreed to no more hotels and to spend their money on food at restaurants. So this little scheme that they came up with, look, I get that their position is difficult because they're homeless, so they can't, it's not like they can go somewhere. I would think that there are better options than going to an actual restaurant. So they're not going to fast food. So they think because they're not going to fast food and that they're going to restaurants and getting healthier options, which they did not look like healthier options to me. It looked like some same bull crap that you would eat at McDonald's, probably even more in calories. I don't know what their option, the only thing that I could see is for them to try Try to get some kind of public housing get in where they got a kitchen where they can you know get a can of why can't you go get a can of tuna fish get you a tank can opener open it up and there's your meal right there like you don't have to take and spend all this money could you imagine being homeless and like I rarely even go out to eat because it's so expensive like for me to take my family out 60 80 dollars like you all know it's very expensive to go in a restaurant and eat so I couldn't imagine being homeless and having even the nerve to go in a restaurant and sit down. Not that, that, you know, that everybody doesn't deserve that, but there's more things to worry about than going to a restaurant and eat. There were other options. Like I said, he could have got him some tuna fish, can opener. There were options. He, he was okay with eating bags of chips and cookies in his van. There's, you know, why can't you eat healthy stuff in your van? Two months later, back at Dr. Now's, Dominic weighs in at 650 pounds, a loss of 23 pounds. Honestly, I was surprised by the 23 pound uh, weight loss. I thought for sure with them going to restaurants and things like that, that he would gain weight. So I was happy to see that he at least lost a little bit of weight. Dr. Now gives him the same goal of 60 pounds in the next two months. And he also wants him to start going to therapy. A few weeks later, Dominic says things are going slower for him and they pull over to a local fast food place to get food. He said that eating at restaurants just got too costly, you think? So their only choice was to go back to fast food. Things seem to turn around and James is able to pick up some jobs, which is able to pay for them to stay in a motel room that has a kitchen so Dominic now can prepare more healthier meals. Back at Dr. Now's, Dominic weighs in at 647 pounds, a recent weight loss of three pounds. Dominic tells Dr. Now he thought he did better, but he guesses the stress he's been under has caused him to overeat. So even though that Dominic, you know, was given a place to stay, had a kitchen that he said that he needed to prepare healthier meals, he lost more weight when he was hitting up the restaurants and spending all that money. So it, it comes down to what you're putting in your body. It doesn't matter whether you're going to a restaurant, you're cooking in a kitchen. Those are all just excuses that you can use to the moon and back, but it's, you're not hurt anybody but yourself. Dominic goes to the grocery store alone for the first time in five or six 
years. He is trying to break the cycle of relying on his brother for so much. He is also doing his and James laundry. But he said that there is a snack machine in the laundry room, which he is tempted by. But don't worry, people. On the days that he goes and gets a snack, the hotel also, motel also has a gym next to it. So he goes over and burns those extra calories off on a treadmill. Unfortunately, at his next weigh-in with Dr. Now, he weighs in at 650 pounds, a weight gain of three pounds, with a total weight loss thus far, people, of 23 pounds. Dr. Now tells him he is eating his chance of getting more established because he is obviously eating more food, which means when Dr. Now told him that you're eating your chance of getting established means you're you're eating the money that you could be using that you could use to put toward housing you're putting in your belly it's the truth uh, obviously and this has been uh, Dominic's issue probably since he's been homeless he probably lived with his mom his mom got him whatever food and it was just you become a glutton you gotta wonder does he have a, a food addiction or is he just a glutton when you pick I mean I guess it would be a little bit of both He's picking to actually live on the streets. It's like what you see with drug addicts, like somebody who's addicted to heroin. They would rather live on the streets than have a home. He would rather eat than have a home. Dr. Now tells him there is nothing else he can do for him and unless he starts to lose weight, he doesn't need to come back, but they will still send him to his therapy appointments. But if he decides to get serious, to let him know. We've seen this a few times throughout this season and it's unfortunate, but I guess that was, you know, the motivation that Dominic needed because he says he's not going to give up and he will continue to try to lose weight and not let Dr. Now down. His plan is to get back to Dr. Now in four months with a 150 pound weight loss. That is where the show ended. We don't know if Dominic ever made any progress with his weight loss, went back to Dr. Now, had the surgery or not. I would probably guess, unfortunately, Dominic doesn't seem very motivated in life by anything. Not only is he almost 700 pounds, he's homeless, you know, they're just staying in a van. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. I hope that he proves me wrong and then he goes through and he loses the weight and he gets healthy, goes back, has his surgery, has the best life that he ever wanted. Let me know what you think. Do you think Dominic went through with the weight loss? What did you think about the episode? And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.